to Children's Chapel. I'm so glad you're all with us this week. My name is Miss Becca, and I will be taking you on your journey into the Bible today. If you've been with us for the past few weeks, you probably remember that we're in the middle of our series, Fruit of the Spirit. And so this week, we're going to continue that series, and we're going to learn about patience and what it means to be patient. So before we jump into the Bible, why don't we start with a song? So if you guys want to stand up, stretch out your dance moves, and get ready to sing and dance with me. Bible story time. And if you've been with us the last few weeks, you probably know that we're in the middle of the series called Fruit of the Spirit. And this week, we're going to continue that journey and we're going to learn about another fruit of the Spirit. We're going to learn about how to be patient. So let's Put on our listening ears and turn our voices off and listen to this story from the Bible. Fruit of the Spirit, patience. So part of God's story is about the fruit of the Spirit and it goes like this. The Bible says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control. They're all good to have, and they all come from God. But for now, let's focus on patience. 
When the Bible talks about patience, it's more than just waiting for something you want. Sometimes, patience means waiting for God to do something only He can do, like bringing justice or putting a stop to someone's pain. The Bible is full of stories about people being patient, and patient for a little while longer, and patient for a really, really, really long time. Patience is when you choose to trust God's promises. Patience means you believe that no matter how much time something takes, no matter how difficult it is to wait, that God is still good and that God always keeps His promises. Now, it's not always easy to wait and we are all probably waiting on God for something. It's okay to feel impatient, but it's also possible to feel impatient, but to practice patience. The Bible shows us what it looks like to have patience no matter what is going on. Psalm 40 says, I waited patiently for the Lord and He heard my cry. And Romans 8.25 says, If we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Jesus showed patience when His followers didn't understand the things He had taught them. He took time to explain His parables and sometimes had to patiently correct His friends. Like one time when James and John, who after three years of Jesus teaching them to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, still asked Jesus to call down fire on a village and destroy it, all because they didn't welcome Jesus and his friends. But violence is the opposite of what Jesus had been teaching them. Instead of choosing to be violent, Jesus showed even more patience when others were violent to him, when he suffered and even died on a cross, even though he hadn't done anything wrong. And 2 Peter 3.9 says, The Lord is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Which is another way of saying that even when we aren't patient with God, He is patient with us. And when we try to do things our own way, God is still patient with us. In case you missed it, God's always patient with us. It's part of who God is. When we choose to wait and trust God's promises, when we choose patience, we're choosing to be like God. And when we are patient with other people, when we forgive them and serve them, we are showing God's patience to others. Practicing patience is part of what it means to have the fruit of the Spirit. Maybe you can think of something you need to be patient with right now. You can ask God to help you practice patience. And as you experience God and grow in your faith, the Spirit can grow more patience in your life. Okay, so we learned what it means to be patient. That's a big word, patient. You know, sometimes I'm not very good at being patient. It's hard for me to wait for things. I like to have things right now, but I can't always have things right now. Sometimes, I have to wait for my friend to be done playing with a toy before I can play with it. Sometimes I have to wait for my boss or my teacher to give me the next directions. Sometimes I have to wait on God because God has their own timing and I'm not con in control of it. Sometimes I can pray and pray about things, but I have to wait for God and the right timing. Patience is about being in the moment. It's about being excited for the future, but knowing that I can be excited about what is happening now. That I can be excited because my teacher told me we're gonna get Kona ice in the afternoon. But I also know that I have a whole day full of activities that I can enjoy until then. Okay, can you guys stand up and join me in some more singing and dancing?
nation's kindness, goodness. was some great singing and dancing. So now we're gonna end our time together by praying. So if you could put your hands together, close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for today. Help us to be patient 
and to be kind. Thank you for our friends and our families. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for joining me this week. We post a new video every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. So feel free to join me next week. And if you would like to worship with us in person, you can do that at 10.30 a.m. Bye. Thank you.